Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add AppSheet feature to your app. The AppSheet feature allows you to integrate your Google Sheets into the app, helping you manage your records on the fly. The AppSheet feature automatically extracts the spreadsheet structure and adds default display and data capture features to your app. Once you have successfully tested the demo app, click on edit to add the AppSheet feature to your app. In my Future section, click on View All and search App Sheet. Click on the Future to add it to your app. This is your future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the future icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and website. Now let's move to the Content section. Here. We will be connecting the Google Sheets to the app. Click on connect with Google Sheets. You'll be asked to sign into your Google account. Here you need to allow a few permissions. Once done, you will see two options, manage and disconnect. The manage option allows you to add, edit, and manage your Google Sheets. While disconnect option, you can disconnect your Google Sheets whenever you want. Let's check out manage option. Click on the button to continue. A pop-up select will appear. Here you will see all the files present in your Google Drive. Click on the sheet that you want to connect your app. A pop-up create new table will open. You will see your selected sheet name. You can even change the sheet name and select your desired one from here. Select the sub sheet name now. The display name field allows you to change the name of the sub sheet. The display name that you provided here will be shown to the app users, but not to be changed in the actual Google Sheet. Next comes permissions. Here you can set your desired permissions such as view only, add only, update only, delete only, and add an update. Update and delete, add and delete, or allow all permissions for the selected subsheet. The view only permission allows users to view the data in the sheet only. The add only allows them to add data to the sheet only. The update only permission set lets the users to update data to the sheet only. The delete only lets users to delete data from the sheet only. With add-on update, your users will have ac access to add as well as update the data to the sheet. The update and delete permission gives them control to update as well as delete the data from the sheet, while the add and delete permission lets them to add as well as delete from the sheet. Select the currency from here. The currency that you, that you select will be used for all the data entries. Click on add table to continue you will see a new table has been created. Click on the create new table to add multiple tables to your different sheets. Please note you cannot add multiple subsheets on the same sheet too. You can see a few of details of all your tables here. You can check table name, source, number of relationship permissions, and perform multiple actions too. In the permission tab, click on update to change the display name and edit the permissions for a table. The star icon can be used to set any other table as default. The default table is the first one your users will see when they access the app sheet feature. Click on the trash can icon to delete the table. From here, you can edit the table. As you can see, all the columns of your Google Sheets are automatically listed under the columns section. The type section describes the kind of input your app sheet will accept for different columns. If you want, you can change the type from here. Next comes display name. It is column name that will display to the user. You can change it from here. Next is app formula. Click on add formula to add formula to your selected column. A pop-up expression builder will open. Here you will see a large collection of various mathematical, lo logical, and conditional formulas along with their syntax. Result type and an example. Based on the formula that you insert here, the total value of the particular column will be determined. You can check out the tutorial here to add your desired formula for a particular column. Here you will, we will show you an example of adding a formula. By applying addition formula, you can add values of two columns and get the total value in the third column. Click on insert to add the formula. Here we have the column total amount 3 for which we will apply the addition formula. On clicking insert, the example syntax of add formula will appear in the buff field. Please note the example syntax is based on the type of the column present in the table. In the syntax, you will see the columns that are currently being added. 
Here, the values of column product ID 1 and base amount 4 are being added. If you want, you can set your own columns to get the total value. Here, you want to get total value for other amount 5 and base amount 4 columns, so we'll change it. Just delete the column name and update it with other amount 5 and, you, and you're all set to go. Now the total amount 3 will return the sum of other amount 5 and base amount 4 columns. The key option allows you to make any column the main column of this table. Please note, once you've selected a key column for a table, it can't be changed under any condition on the mobile end. The identity of the table the key column is useful for linking two tables. The label option acts as a label or a summary of a particular table. You can only show two columns of the tables in the label. All you need to do is just tick mark this, the columns that you want to show to your app users as a label for that particular table. Through read, read option, you can limit the users from any editing or making changes to the table column. The hidden option lets you that's you to make your column hidden from the users even in the details section of a particular row. By enabling require option, you can make whichever sections you want mandatory for the users. Under action, you can have the option to delete the column you want. Just click on the trash can icon to delete it. Click on save and sync to save the changes you have made. If you want, you can rearrange table structure from here. Please note, regenerating the table structure will restore the settings contained within the sheet that means any of the formulas that you add here will be removed. Once you regenerate the table structure, all the current changes done to the table in Google Sheets will start reflecting here. From here, you can reset the entire table columns and their conditions. From here, you can delete multiple columns in one go. Next up, general settings. Under language settings, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in app sheet future. Under CMS tab, you can define your terms and conditions in your privacy policy. Once done, click on save and sync to continue. Now close the app sheet window. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme of your app sheet future. Choose your desired page elements, color and font size. If you want to hide borders, tick mark this checkbox. Once you're done setting up your app sheet, click on save to continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are alive.